good morning. It is currently just before eight o'clock in the morning. So I thought I'd film um, today. It's the last day before my first online exam. Um, so I'm just gonna have a study day. Uh, the same sort of day that I've had for the last month. Same as always, but I'm just going to get up now and um, get changed and get ready for my morning workout. Whoop. Right, catch you in a bit. Now I'm going to do my workout to um, kind of help me wake up and um, set me up for the day. So yeah, let's do it. Feels good. I did about 36 minutes. So I did um I did like a 20 minute cardio workout walking workout thing. Um and then a 10 minute ab workout. Um I can leave the, the links to the workouts I did um below if you're wanting to give them a try. The first person uh, the first workout is by a person called Lucy, um Lucy Windham Reed. I've been following her workouts for like two years now, I quite like them. Anyway, I'm disgusting. Uh, I'm going to go shower and then I'll um, come back for breakfast. Right, so I'm dressed. Um, now it's time for breakfast. It's almost nine o'clock and yeah, I am starving. Right, bowl, oats, Chocolate granola, <coughs> yogurt, banana, and some strawberries. Right, let's do this. So that is breakfast. Uh, all the yogurt and stuff is underneath. Um, I had some leftover strawberries that I couldn't, I couldn't eat them all for breakfast. But I made some brownies yesterday, so I'm thinking of having strawberries, brownies, and maybe ice cream for dessert tonight. So that's something to look forward to. And now, like every good breakfast of mine, it needs loads of cinnamon on top. I love cinnamon. Right, and now cup of tea. Done, got my cereal and my tea. I have this almost every day. Um, it's super quick. I normally have it before I go to uni as well because it takes me like five minutes to do. So yeah, I'm gonna have this now and um, just watch some TV for a wee bit and then start studying. Quarter to ten, so time for studying. Uh, I'm gonna transform the living room into a study space. Um, I've got all my notes. <laughs> um, of uh, the like windowsill in neat little piles that's the exam tomorrow so that's what i'll be focusing on today and yeah that desk needs to turn into a proper work desk so let's do it right so i think i'm all set got my stuff got my highlighters that's the most important thing um, not quite decided yet what I'm going to do today, but probably not too much note-taking because 
I have my first exam tomorrow, so I'll probably just be going over that mainly today, maybe write a couple of practice essays or something. But yeah, today is neuropharmacology, right? I need a cup of tea and then we can get started. gonna make lunch now or don't really have to make anything I'm, I made a soup a couple of days ago so I'm just gonna heat that it's um just like a vegetable soup it's one of the few things that my grandma actually can make and um yeah she makes it for me every time I come down now because I love it so that's very nice of her uh, but anyway yeah I've got that soup and I've got some bread I'm just gonna have that for lunch yeah, the soup's great um, for making like a big portion. So I make one like big pot full and that lasts me for about three or four days. So this is the last of the soup. I've had it now for a few days. Um, and yeah, just I just keep it on the on the cooker and then reheat it. Um, my bread comes out of the toaster. I'm ready to go. Quick lunch. Okay, so here we have lunch a bowl of steaming hot soup and some bread yeah like i said i really like this soup i make it all the time and um, what i'll do is i'll i'll leave the recipe in the description under the video and um, also for some of the other stuff like the granola this morning and those kind of things if you're interested and um yeah if you want to give them a try so yeah i'm gonna have lunch now yeah but just before lunch, I put some of the brownies that I made yesterday onto a plate and I took them over to the neighbours, like, they just live opposite, I just put it outside um, their back door and um, yeah, I think they've just put a note through the door. <laughs> Let's go and see. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> oh. Right, so it says. Thank you, Alina. We will enjoy them. How <laughs> cute. <laughs> They're really nice. Um, it's like this old couple. And um, yeah, since they know that I'm also by myself, they've kept coming up to like ask me how I am and everything. So yeah, I brought them some brownies and now I got my thank you note. <laughs> so cute. So it's 2.30 now. Um, now, of course, the sun's come out and it actually looks like a nice day. But um Anyway, I, I I really can't be bothered, but since the exam's tomorrow, I do need to do some more studying. Um, I've just boiled the kettle for another cup of tea. Nothing much gets done in this house without a cup of tea. And um, do some more studying. So yeah, catch you in an hour. Right, phone. Headphones. If you're wondering who in this day and age still owns an iPod, the answer is I do. <laughs> right, it is four o'clock, or oh, just before four o'clock, and it is time for walkies. Every day at four o'clock, I go for a walk with my mum. So um, I call her on the phone, and then we both walk. At the same time, uh, there's not that much to talk about when every day is the same and there's never really much change to the day. <laughs> but, you know, it keeps you motivated whilst you're walking, someone else to talk to. And um, it also has the additional benefit of um, killing two birds with one stone in the sense that I um, <laughs> I have my daily chat slash up... Um, update with my mum and get my walk done. Let's go, let's go mum. Just 
as an aside, the sun's come out again. So with the rainbow, then we've had all seasons, tropical Scottish weather. Lovely. We're back from the walk. I'm a bit wet. Uh, I mean, I don't really mind the rain, but it was just annoying that, like, it's not rained. It's literally not rained, I think, since lockdown. So, like, for a fort, like, almost a month, it's not rained. But of course, it rains today. And of course, it rains as soon as I leave the house. So, yeah, I'm quite cold now because I got pretty wet. So, yeah, I'm going to change. Uh, maybe do some more reading of my notes and then have dinner. Yeah. seven o'clock so time for dinner I'm fed up studying I'm gonna tidy up now and um, call it a day I might have another read over stuff before I go to bed but yeah it is pouring now I don't know if she can really see um kind of it still looks like it's not that bad weather but um yeah anyway let's tidy up and make dinner And we are back to home space, not study space. Right, time for dinner. And we are having pizza! Pizza party Friday night! So, I um, made these pizzas the other week, like, with um, my sourdough starter. I made pizza bases and then I made pizzas and I froze them. So I've just kind of had that out for about half an hour whilst the oven's been preheating I bought like a pizza stone a couple of weeks ago this is what it looks like um just because I wanted to have one also for making sourdough breads just to have that extra heat from the bottom so yeah anyway I'm gonna put in my pizza now for 15 minutes make some salad and yeah I'm gonna put on some tunes because I need to listen to some music to perk me up a bit because yeah I'm a bit cheesed off after that study day. salad uh, literally just got just salad and tomatoes that is all I have left um, so it's a pretty sad situation going on in the fridge I have <laughs> one more tomato <laughs> couple berries and uh, yeah some soft cheese and butter but yeah we're running kind of low on food so after my exam I will need to go to the shops and this oh for people who've been following my blog for a while who want to see my sourdough starter this bad boy is Henry so um, I think he needs a bit of a feed he's looking hungry but yeah this is Henry the sourdough starter yeah. going back to sleep in the fridge right and now we're just gonna wait for the pizza. Is it just me who thinks pizza cutters are kind of useless, but knives are much better? <laughs> but we've started now, so we're gonna roll with it. Oh. 
Right. Done. Dinner is served. Let's go. So I've had dinner. It's quarter past eight. Uh, I'm gonna have my after dinner snack now. I know I mentioned this this morning that I made brownies yesterday and I still have the strawberries from this morning. Plus I have some ice cream. So I think I'm gonna be really bad and have brownies with ice cream and strawberries for dessert. Now that is what I call dessert. Some strawberries raspberry and white chocolate brownie and some salted caramel ice cream and of course my cup of tea absolute staple my sofa got my dessert and yeah i'll probably just watch some tv now for a wee bit and um then go to bed shortly probably because um i'm quite tired studying's exhausting and uh yeah obviously i've got my exam tomorrow although it doesn't feel like the night before an exam for obvious reasons um yeah Cheese. okay so it is 10 30 um i know it's not that late but um i'm tired and i'm gonna go to bed to get a decent night's sleep before my exam I um I've set up uh, my desk thing for tomorrow. I am although it's online, I am gonna write it by hand uh, to start with, and then I'll type it up. But yeah, so I'm all set for tomorrow morning. Uh, gonna, should, ooh, suddenly it is awfully dark. There we go. There's my light. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let me f find the favorite. Oh yeah, pajamas. Right, I'm gonna put on my pajamas and then I might read my book. I'm just I'm currently reading this uh history of Scotland. It's quite interesting. So yeah, I'll read that um to put myself to sleep and yeah, then I'll go to bed. So that's the end of another long day in self isolation. A long study day. This is basically been my day for the last month so yeah I'm kind of happy that the first exams tomorrow um, get it over with um, I have four to do so yeah but they'll be over in a week so I have another seven days from tomorrow and um, then I'll be done with the madness so yeah anyway uh, thanks for watching. I ho if you made it to the end of this video, then um, congratulations. I would be very surprised. But anyway, yeah, I'm off to bed now and up early tomorrow morning for my exam. So wish me luck and I will see you next time.